hydratate cyst in lung caused by tape from atrinocrotus granulosus but rarely it can also be caused by atrinocrotus multilocularis humans are the accidental host acquired by infection it uh, dots by contact with the infected dog first larva goes into duodenum then to the blood of the human liver which is the most common site and then to the lung let's describe the hydatid cyst it consists of three layers pericyst ectocyst and endocyst let's first discuss pericyst it is a fibrous capsule which is formed by compression of adjacent lung tissue whereas ectocyst and endocyst are the wall of the cyst itself the complication can be bacterial infection or it can rupture into pleural cavity therefore manifestation or complication can also be seen thus in short pericyst is formed by our human and lung tissue which forms the fibrous capsule around it whereas the ectocyst and endocyst are formed by the cyst or the organism itself let's see the imaging of hydatid cyst it can be divided into two parts unruptured or ruptured means ruptured means any layer can be ruptured first we'll discuss unruptured it is asymptomatic homogeneous oval round sharply or well defined and in ct it can be it is cystic and there will be daughter cyst or septa present the most important point is that there is no calcification seen remember liver hydatid there will be calcification but lung hydatid no calcification it can be single or multiple and therefore what are the features well defined homogeneous oval round a uh, lesion with no calcification let us see the x ray features first all the black spots on the chest x ray these are the lesions let us see how many lesion there are multiple lesion and in ct also we can see that these are round or oval lesion now see clearly these are well defined homogeneously open see fine you can see it can be multiple or it can be single on the right side there is a one only single lesion and most modern there is no calcification seen in the lung hydatid whereas in liver hydatid calcification can be seen now let us see features of a ruptured hydatid cyst what are the signs first is the minister sign second is the water lily sign third is serpent sign and fourth is tumbo sign let's start with minister sign also known as crescent sign ruptured means any layer should be ruptured so in minister sign the pericyst structures but ectocyst endocyst remains intact therefore air will come between pericyst and ectocyst minister sign sign water lily sign also known as camelid sign now in this the inner layer ruptures therefore that inner layer will crumple down and air fluid level will seen and this small bump which we seen water lily sign serpent sign also oh, the membrane will be seen inside in the tumbo sign or the onion peel sign there are rupture of the multiple layer therefore air will be seen both inside endocyst and pericyst and ectocyst layer therefore layer of air will be seen like a onion peel therefore known as a onion peel or a tumbo sign let's see the x ray here we can see a small crescent shape of black color air and in ct also it can be seen this is minister sign when only pericyst has ruptured and it has air has come see without the diagram also now let us see second sign water lily sign we have drawn the diagram 
air fluid level and some bump same in the x-ray we can also see in the ct also where air where the level is seen and some bump same the diagram this is gives appearance of a water lily therefore it is known as a water lily sign the inner layer is a ruptured and fallen down with air fluid level given the appearance of water lily which we see without drawing also now if many layers will rupture air will accumulate between layer giving a onion peel sign here you can see the drawing where we can see a layer of air same if we see on the lateral let's say also we can see that air fluid level black arrow and one drawing the highlighted portion here the air has been accumulated it in multiple layer which is giving an onion peel appearance you can see in without drawing also as you can see in this there is a, a air fluid level and the arrowhead is showing that the crumpled membrane is inside it can be seen either on ct or on x-ray this is a serpent sign there are other also sign described where we can see now a well-defined lesion and here the highlighted portion where the crumpled membrane is run. so a sunrise sign but the basic and uh, the basic thing is that if a layer gets ruptured air will accumulate in any of that layer and it can go down forming a serpent layer or it can and be water lily sign or minister sign let's draw the diagram of lung first unruptured which is homogeneous oval well defined no calcification let's start with the ruptured one first minister sign if perisys ruptures second water lily camulet sign where air fluid level and some above bump which is the water lily where inner membrane has collapsed if the membrane is with crumple it is a serpent sign and the last is thumbo if multiple layer has been ruptured or the onion peel sign.